Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're going to do a video on my six star ghost. So yeah, I must apologize for a lot of people go, hey, didn't you get like a six star ghost? Uh, why aren't you using that champion quite so much? And to be brutally honest, I do use it, but I don't really kind of use it quite so much in the content that I grind through that maybe other champions I like a bit more. And Ghost is a fantastic champion, but at the moment, I've really got a strong questing team. But I do want to use Ghost more and also showcase what is so amazing and the easiest way to use the champion. Before getting into the video, could you please help out the channel by hitting the like button as well as the subscribe button with post notifications on if you're indeed new to the channel. But let's get into the video. For a lot of players, they want to know the answer to the question, is the champion still good if unawakened? And the answer is yes. I was able to output some great amount of damage, but also you do need to consider you'll probably need to get the synergy of Ant-Man as well as Wasp. And that's really for, first of all, formidable foe. So you get plus 15% attack for each buff on Ghost. Really great because buffs are quite important and obviously you'll be building up things like cruelty, precision stuff that are passive, non-passive. We'll talk about that in a minute. And also with Wasp, special attacks are unblockable when triggered while phasing. And there's a really cool method which really is just the main way to use Ghost. Also, you can have untouchables, which is take no damage while phasing, something that is really great to withstand and also not take huge amounts of damage from L3s if for whatever reason champions like, for example, going up against Hyperion, though I don't really recommend it. If you are indeed phasing, then that's pretty cool. Also, there's a good way to work around Suicide Masteries and the debuff effects that come from that, but we'll talk a little bit more in more detail as the video progresses. What of the signature ability? So as you can see here, it would be amazing if my six star one was awakened. Fingers crossed for the future, guys. Fingers crossed. At the start of the fight, begin phasing for two seconds. When opponent misses, generates 5% max power per miss. Obviously great. We want to build power quickly. We want to be able to phase at the beginning because phasing's great. I'm going to show you some of the footage that I've got projectiles coming at me and it's just the phasing and it's missing at the same time. Also, considering hitting in special attacks and again, talking about this method that we're going to do in a minute, which is really darn easy and also just the best way to use this champion. So what is this fancy method I'm referring to? Well, it's nothing really substantial. It's nothing too impressive except for... Build up to an L2, hit in a heavy attack, swipe back to put yourself into phase and smack with an almighty L2. And if you've got that wasp synergy, then you're going to be unblockable when you hit in a phased position. Not to mention the extent amount of damage output from criticals and maybe as well with furies culminating together with a nice chunk of damage. It is absolutely beautiful. But do bear in mind and do take into consideration the fact that there are various masteries which could improve damage output. Whether or not you are running suicide masteries, and that is through a combination of liquid courage as well as double edge, it does mean that you'll be able to damage output huge amounts. But also something to take in further, further consideration is the fact that if you have indeed got Suicide Masteries, where you technically have a debuff over time, that when you go into a phase, you will convert that to a Fury buff. So it's going to mean for a meaty amount of damage. And obviously that's the reason where you see a lot of content contributors or content creators in the MC YouTube community that will indeed run Suicide Masteries with Ghost as a champion and just be putting out some tasty amount of damage and not to mention the fact that they're able to take down characters like Winter Soldier for the purpose of exhibition and just video creation in a very short space of time and even shorter than it took me with this six star version against Winter Soldier as well. And obviously the great way and reason for using the SP2 is largely when triggered immediately upon phasing each hit is guaranteed critical. And as we've seen, you want to see those critical hits because they're meaty amounts of damage. I think I was, I was doing like 26k, 25k, and then like a 39k. So that is such a huge amount of damage in a very short space of time. And no wonder that this character is such a delight for a lot of endgame users, a lot of endgame content grind, and obviously is a viable option for things like Labyrinth of Legends, Realm of Legends, depending on what storage version you've got, new content coming in, uncollected, except for this month with the Neymar thing, it's been a bit of a piss take. But other than that, great champion, and uh, I've had so much fun kind of learning the ropes, getting to understand the character as well, so that's been great. But anyway, I've done enough yakking, and I'm just gonna leave you with the footage to just display itself for you. Let's roll the clip.
We have it, there's a video on my six star ghost. Now I'm very happy I've got this, but I haven't really kind of displayed it or done a video. So hopefully this was the point of going, yes, I've learned a lot more about the character. Hopefully you have as well, if you just get it for the first time, a bit unsure about where she factors in. Something that I did play about with the idea of doing heavy attacks. By doing that and picking up those uh, cruelty buffs, I was then looking to then build up to an L3 to then convert them into a permanent ones. Get a stack of five down here, and that was really what I was planning to do. Did it make a big difference? No, but maybe that's something that I need to kind of work on a bit more to kind of see. Would love to get an awakening, especially for the rate of power gain being very effective when phasing. And also just general just improvements, especially starting off right at the beginning with uh, phasing is great. So yeah, fantastic. Also synergy wise, I played about with Heimdall synergy to add that Fury, Fury buff on. Uh, but it is very much touch and go as to like, should I re have removed uh, Hood from that particular synergy group in order to factor in Heimdall and Angela. And it didn't really work out, but it could be something down the line that could work out. Either way, great champion. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe for Marvel content to Champions based content. And remember one thing. Put up to the L2. Hit in the heavy attack. Or charge up the heavy attack. Swipe back to go into phase. Hit out with the L2. Tasty damage. And obviously better with Suicide Masteries. But in any case, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye for now.